Good morning children, Saira. Welcome back to our English grammar class. So today in our English grammar, in today's topic, this will help you to improve your English grammar. And then you can improve, you can impress anyone in no time by speaking correct English. So you all like to speak in English, is it? Right? Yes, we all like to speak in English. So today's topic will help you to improve your English. Just learn this simple topic called preposition. So today's our topic is preposition. So you are going to learn the simple topic preposition and start your day by using these preposition words. Okay, so do you know what is preposition? Yes, we are going to learn now. So read the following sentences. Our first sentence is the book lay on the table. The book lay on the table so the book where is the book lying on the table so the word on so the word on it shows the position of the book now where is the book it is on the table it is lying on the table okay now see the second sentence the table is between the chairs. The table is between the chairs. So, where is the table? It is between the chairs. So, the word between is the position. It is the position of the table. The table is between the chairs. So, preposition means position words. Let us read some more examples. Yes. Now look at this. So, this is the, where is she? She's behind the tree. And what is she doing? Yes, she is hiding. She is hiding. So, the girl hid behind the tree. Now, where is the girl? She is behind the tree. She is behind the tree. So the word behind is the preposition. It shows the position. The mouse is in the box. The mouse is in the box. Now where is the mouse? In the box. Where is the mouse? In the box. Right. So where are your books? In the bag. Where are you sitting? On the bench. So, the position words, it shows the positions. Of that. Those words are called as prepositions. Those words, those words are called as preposition. So, behind, in. Okay. Now, let us read the definition. So, our today's topic is preposition. Preposition, that is, your two words are there. Pre and position. That is, position words. So, what is preposition? Preposition are words we use to show the relationship of a noun or a pronoun. To another word in the sentence. It shows the relation between the noun or pronouns. Just remember that it comes and it shows the relation between the nouns and the pronouns. And some other words in the sentence. See the example here. So the girl hid behind the tree. So the girl. Girl is a noun and tree is the pronoun. It shows the relation. It shows the relation between the noun and the pronoun. So in between the word is behind. So where is the girl? Where is the girl? She is behind the tree. So understood? 
So preposition is a word that shows the relation between the noun and the pronoun. Now, what do preposition indicates? It not only indicates the place or the position. Preposition tell us about place, time, position, direction or movement. So preposition tell us about place, time, position, direction or movement. So let us learn a brief about all these preposition words. Okay. Now, first one is preposition of place. First one is preposition of place. So what is preposition of place? It denotes the place of a person, animal or object. It shows the purpose. Where is the person, animal or object in relation to another person, animal or object. Now let us understand by reading the example. The book is on the table. The book is on the table. It denotes the place of a person, animal or an object. So the place of an object. Now where is the book? It is on the table. Now object in relation to another person, animal or object. So it, the book and the table, it is related. Okay, so where is the book? It is on the table. Raj met me at the airport. Raj met me at the airport. So, Raj airport. So, here at. So, where is Raj? Where did Raj met me? Met you? At the airport. The children were playing in the garden. The children were playing in the garden. So, where are the children? In the garden. Okay. So, all these words on, at, in shows the preposition of place. Now, let's practice preposition of place. Place your books dash the table. Number two, Saroj is dash the garden. So, which word you will write? Which preposition word? Place your book on the table. Place your book on the table. Saroj is in the garden. Saroj is in the garden. Now preposition of time. So what do you remember when you read the word or hear the word time? Yes, we immediately remember the clock. Watch. So what does it show? It shows us the time like hours, minutes, seconds. So the clock shows hours, minutes and the seconds. So when in the sentence, when it denotes the time or it denotes the hours or it denotes the minutes, the preposition word you have to is at. The preposition word you have to use is at. At means always indicates an exact and specific time. Like, I go to school at 7 o'clock. I have my dinner at 9 o'clock. I have, I go to play, yes, at 5 o'clock. Okay. So, when you want to say perfect time, exact time, so you will use the word at, right? Okay, so whenever in the preposition, when you hear the word time, if you will remember clock and in this sentence, if it shows hours, minutes, seconds, then it is seven or that you have to use at 7 o'clock. Okay. Now, 
Next one is exam. Let us read the example sentence. I started working at 10 a.m. Means exact time. Means exact time. When did you start your work? I started working at 10 a.m. Number two. The movie starts at 8 p.m. The movie starts at 8 p.m. The shop closes at 9 p.m. So whenever it shows the timing, we will use the word at. Now the other, when you want to show the weekend or at night or during any festivals or at the moment. So you can use the word at. So it all denotes the time. It all denotes the preposition of time. At the weekend, at night, at Christmas, at the moment, at Diwali, at midnight, at 3 o'clock. So all these words denotes the time. They denote a definite point of time. And uh, next one is time. We can also say that when we see the calendar calendar also shows us the time not hours minutes or seconds but it shows date days month and years it shows date days month and years so timing means the clock and the calendar timing means the clock and the calendar okay now when it shows the date and days in the sentence so quickly you will use the word on on 2nd november on monday and when it denotes the month and year you will use the word in so on is days and time on is used to show a fixed date or a day there is no change okay and month and year denotes in that is it is unspecific time of months seasons years centuries etc now let's read the example sentence and understand so date and days so in the sentence if you see date and days Close your eyes and write the answer on when it shows date and days. My birthday is on 25th October. I'll meet you on Saturday. We will go to movie on Sunday. So when you want to when you want to use the date or day in the sentence you will use on you will use on he broke a record on monday morning so this is the preposition word here yes right o n on he broke a record on monday okay so whenever you see date and day in the sentence you will use the word on, 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 on. Okay. Now, next one is whenever you see the month, year, season, you will use the word I and in. My exams are in the month of June. My exams are in the month of June. India got independence in the year 1947 so do not you no need of reading the full sentence also whenever you see month and year close your eyes and write the answer i am in i love playing cricket in summer so in the last sentence which is a preposition of time yes good i am in understood yes so whenever 
In the sentence, you see the month, year or season, you will use the word I and in. You will use the word I and in. Okay. Now, the next one. Ha, let's do the exercise now. So, hope you all know the answer now. So, dash 7 o'clock. Dash 1983. Dash Fridays. Dash January 2017. So, here there is no sentence. So, what I told you? Days, date, month, year. Okay. So, what is the first one? Let me take my pen. <clears throat> okay. Dash 7 o'clock. So, when it shows the perfect exact timing, so you will use the word at at, at 7 o'clock, at 8 o'clock, right? Okay, number 2, dash 1983. So, it is showing the year. So, I and in. I and in. Dash Fridays. So, I go to temple on Fridays. So, whenever you see the weekdays, you can write on Fridays, on Mondays. I go to swimming class on Mondays. I go to Zumba class on alternate days. Okay. So, dash January 27th. January year month also is there and date is also there. So, you will get confused. So, month. So, what I will write? So, this is January 27th means it is the day. So, date you will write on January 27th. Okay. Now, we will move on to the next one. So, there are some more words that indicates the preposition of time. They are from, to, for, since, until. So, these words also shows the time. Now, for indicates a period of time. Let us take the word for, the use of for. It indicates the period of time. It means how many hours, how many weeks, how many months, how many years, how many minutes, how many seconds. Okay, so how many hours did you play? How many weeks do you have holidays? How many months are there in summer? How many years since how many years you are living here? So to show the period of time, the word for is used. So, example, he is learning English for two hours. So, for two hours is learning English. So, it shows the time. He has been waiting for you for three days. He has been waiting for you for three days. So, the word for is showing the time. Three days he has been waiting. And I have been living in Delhi for four weeks. I have been living in Delhi for four weeks. So, how many weeks? Since how many weeks he was living? For four weeks. You have been talking on four for five hour, five minutes. So, how long you have been talking on four? For five minutes. He stayed for four days. So, how many days did he stay? For four days. I will work with them for a year. So, how many years? For a year. He was standing there for a long time. So, how long was he standing? He was standing for a long time. These words all show the time. And next one is from and to. It indicates a fixed time span with the beginning and the end. So, in this sentence, it has the beginning also and it shows the ending also. I work there from 
2010 to 2017. I usually work from Monday to Friday. So beginning is Monday to Friday ending. I will stay there from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So from and to it shows the beginning and the ending of the timing. Okay. Now next one is period of position. Sorry, period of preposition of time. And also now we finish from to four. We had finished from to four. Now let us learn the usage of since. So since indicates a time span beginning in a time and still continuing and still continuing so he has been learning english since 19 2019 means he is still learning the english number two he has been waiting for you since nine means it has become morning also since night he will, he has been he is still waiting for you Number three, Alex has been in a village since Sunday. So, till now he is there in the village. So, since Sunday. So, it shows the time which is still continuing. Okay. Now, number three, I have been living in Delhi since 2018. Means he is still living in Delhi. You have been talking on phone since morning still he is talking okay robin and susan have been friends since childhood means still they are friends so the word which continues it shows when you have to use the word since now next one is by so it denotes the latest time by which the action will or should be over so you have to complete your work by six o'clock you have to finish your homework by nine o'clock you have to finish your food within five minutes so by five minutes you have to finish it okay so you should finish your breakfast by 8 30 a.m so the action which it should get over my father will come home by 6 p.m. So by 6 p.m. he will be there at home. It is not continuing. Okay. Now the one moment. Yes. So now we have learned the usage of from, to, for, since, by. Now children. Now, D U R I N G, during. So, this also indicates the time. It denotes the action that is taking place. It denotes the action that is taking place. Manoj is sleeping during the English class. Manoj is sleeping during the English class. So, in the English class, he was sleeping. We will be going to Kerala during the summer vacation. So, during it shows the summer vacation. So, it shows the timing, preposition of time. And until or till, until or till, it denotes the specific or unspecific time or event up to a point. Let's read the sentence. They will not return until Friday. So, till Friday they are not going to return. Wait for me until I return. I do not give up until I succeed. I'll be there until Monday. Or you can use the word till also. Now let's do some exercise. She has been waiting dash five hours. We have lived here dash 1985. So she has been waiting for five hours. We have lived here since 1985. You should finish your work dash tomorrow. So what is the answer? You should finish your work by tomorrow. 
they don't talk dash dinner they don't talk during dinner okay so children let's stop here and we will continue the rest of the preposition words in the next class so this topic will be continued in the next video so until then stay home and learn bye bye children